Okay, today I want to do another video in the basic use of um, dialing or using a tactical scope. Um, the last video I did was essentially about um, adjusting your scope in reference to bullet drop. So that's essentially adjusting for different differences, distances and how far your bullet drops accordingly. So you can actually shoot on your target um, by shooting with your crosshairs um, on the target. The, today I want to talk about wind and the effect of wind on a bullet and using your side turret to allow for that. Um, so what we'll actually do is shoot out there. We've got a target set out at just over 800 yards. Um, we will shoot with no wind adjustment. So we'll shoot where this side turret is on zero, which is where it would hit the target dead straight um, if there was no wind. Um, as I discussed in the previous video, with both of these turrets back down at zero, this will shoot dead straight to 100 yards. So then what we'll actually do is, like I said, we're shooting at 800 yards, we'll shoot in the wind. We've got eight to 10, eight to 10 um, miles an hour of wind today. Um, we'll shoot out there and show exactly where the bullet hits without adjusting. Um, and then I'll dial in as for what our wind conditions say to actually then get closer to the target. We'll see how close that gets. Um, keep in mind when we're reading wind, we're reading it at one spot. We're not reading it all the way up the range. Uh, we're only taking estimation from the flag up at the target, but we'll see where that hits on its first shot. Um, and then um, we will, if there's any correction needed to be made after that, we'll do that with what's called holdover. I'm not gonna to get too complicated about it at all. I'll try and show that clearly on the video so you can see what I'm talking about. But we'll do that once we've actually corrected with holdover, then I'll dial it to make the correction and do a final shot like that as well. Um, so that should all become clear as I show you with the video. Um, we are out at, like I said, just over, it's actually 805 yards. Um, we'll dial in according to that for our, for our elevation. So we should be on our right elevation for the target. Um, and then, as I said, we'll leave our side um, turret here at zero and see where it actually hits to start off with. So I'll um, put some hearing protection on. Put a magazine in and we'll get to and do that. Left, two targets, nine o'clock. Okay, so you see, okay, so you saw where that bullet hit. That's over to the left hand side of the target. It's going to the same place that the wind is pushing it. The wind is pushing to the left, um, and so the bullet hit to the left. So, what we'll do is we'll dial in here our wind. So, as you can see in our wind gauge, we've got the eight miles an hour of wind. Um, on the flag up there, we've got approximately eight miles an hour of wind. Um, we'll do essentially put in exactly that into here and that gives us 4.88 minutes of wind. So we'll round that up to five and we'll dial in. Now what we're going to dial in, because the bullet is travelling to the left, it means we want to shoot to the right to correct that. So that means we're going to adjust this dial to the right to five minutes. Now, with everything set just as it was, we'll put the crosshairs back on zero. And Okay, now that, we're, that tells us, that's very close to the target, but that tells us that we're actually shooting, that there's actually a little bit more wind than that. 
Now what I'm going to do to start off with, crack another round, and I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use holdover. Now I'll show you on the reticle here, essentially where we saw the bullet hit here. So what we're going to do is take and use what is called holdover. Now that means that I'm going to take the crosshairs and make the correction by basically putting the center crosshair in exactly the opposite place of the side of the target from the center of the target to where the bullet hit. So we'll put the crosshair over here and we will fire another round and let's see where we hit now. Okay, now that's not perfect, but we're two or three inches from center at 800 yards. That's using holdover. And really that's the type of correction that for a one-off shot without wanting to dial, just being able to, you saw where your last shot hit, you can do that with a spotter call and use MOA if you want and, and, and use your reticle that way. It's quite a simple process of once you know where that hit actually landed, you can then simply use your reticle to reposition. Like I said, if it hit on the left-hand side of the target, you can see where it is. You simply want to take that and move your reticle to the other side of the target to exactly the same distance. So it's just simply seeing that you've got this distance over here and moving it across by that amount. So the other way to do it, obviously, is make a correction according to how much we need to correct it. Now, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dial in accordingly to make a correction. And then we'll fire again and see what we get this time. Hit. Radio. Not perfect, but not terrible, and I think you get the picture of um, what we're talking about with that. Essentially the, the holdover side of things, I should say, I could do that from the first shot. You could simply use holdover, and that's uh, essentially allow for the amount of wind you've got, and use holdover to do that. Allow that, that same five minutes we wanted to, simply work that in your reticle and hold over straight away. I tend to prefer to keep my holdover points to the smallest amount I can. So, you know, even to the point of if I've hit four inches right on the target, to use a tiny bit of holdover to bring it back to the center of the target is the finer targets, but really I tend to use up to two minutes of holdover, where I'll position the reticle around by up to two minutes, um, and anything more than that, then I'm going to dial. So, essentially that's the basics of how to use it, um, and I hope that's of some help.